All right, guys, so <clears throat> I want to do a video explaining why and when your front loader washer <clears throat> is done or in dire need of service. So this is your inner drum, okay? This is the part that does the rotating, okay? And when everything is working perfectly, it will be in true alignment, okay? If you see how true that drum is turning, there's no movement, okay? So when you start to hear the noise, let's say you're in the bathroom or whatever, across the house and you can hear the washer roaring like a freight train, that basically means the bearings in the back, which I'll kind of show you, uh, has worn out because the seal which keeps water out of them has let water in and the lubricant from the uh, bearings are now gone so all you hear is just a grinding noise um, so you have your outer tub which is this plastic and you have your inner so they should never touch okay they're in a bearing and housing in the back and you have a spider looks like a triangle that's your spider that's what holds the drum and supports it so when everything's working well they never touch okay if your washer is flopping around and making noise you can actually grab the inner drum and squeeze and if you can actually make them touch then your bearings or spider is damaged, okay? Uh, this particular unit is a whirlpool. Uh, this is where the weights would be attached, the concrete weights. Your shocks would be here. Your drain pump would be here. And this would be for the pressure switch or pressure port this guy here and your springs and hangers and whatnot would be attached to these guys that's how your machine is supported now your bearings are back here they're inserted in there and this is the pulley these are the older style washers that they would have a uh, MCU motor control unit and the motor control unit would control or operates the drum okay and your main board would send a signal to that blah 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 so if you have an older style and it's not agitating your pump is good then you might want to check the MCU so the bearings are in there and what happens when you overload these machines you know, literally stuff them to the point to where you're basically wearing it out. And that's how you get premature wearing on these units. That's your heater. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show that. Um, this is a good job. Uh, we're gonna keep this one for a washer that's coming in. So we're gonna do a transplant. So. Also, a good rule of thumb, guys, when you load your washer, I tell customers not to pass that imaginary circle, okay? If you want your washer to last, do not overload it. It will last a long time. And your seal or the bellow would be on the outside here. A uh, good thing to do is keep the door ajar. After each use, you can wipe the bellow, keep, you know, keep the seal nice and dry so you don't have that mold and mildew. All right, thank you guys. Thanks for watching. Yes, just a quick follow-up guys. Uh, just, I, I wanted to mention as well that when your bearings are gone to the point to where the drum has made contact with the plastic and the seal, that basically means it's time, either time for a new washer uh, the cost would not 
really be worth it unless you're really in love with the washer. I would not spend the money to repair it. Also, if you notice smelling of rubber burning, that could also be an indicator that, again, the drum has shifted and is now making contact with the bellow. That's the seal, that gray rubber. So if that happens, then you will hear like a squeaking noise and also a very distinct smell. And if you open the washer and it's hot, that means either, and you can see smoke, that means the drum has made contact and it's early sign of uh, a new washer. All right, thank you.